we start to think, you know what, there's no way that one vote could change the world. There's no way that one person could make a difference. But at the end of the day, it is that one person. It's that one person times 10 million, or times 20 million, or times 100 million. That's, that's how things get done. So Chicago has a great history of being uh, uh, politically active, of being socially conscious, of being intelligent, and being very, very forthright uh, whenever it comes to taking care of their business. So I don't want to see us fall apart at this point. We've got, to, we've got to make sure that we understand the ordinances and the legislation that is being passed that are going to affect us. And we've got to understand how our voice can be heard. We've got to do something about it, whether it's in favor or not. Saying something is better than being silent. A silent community is a dead community. And that's the bottom line. Yeah, we were just uh, speaking about the Chicago Promoters Ordinance. And uh, it was amazing to me the, uh, the quick response of the musicians in the community. Uh, I, I don't think I knew anybody that wasn't planning on heading down to the meeting. We had all, you know, organized, uh, you know, where we were going to meet and, you know, pretty much dropped everything we were doing uh, to make sure we were at that meeting. Um, so it was nice to know that uh, the, the response was underestimated and I, can, I predict a similar response in the future and I hope that uh, the resistance continues because it needs to happen. You want to just play out? Sure. <laughs> I think we're a self-regulated enough community and we don't need the city to come in and to treat us like criminals in order for us to promote the music that we're all in love with. Well, this is an opportunity for Chicago's grassroots indie music community because not only is it a, a situation, is it a threat that should energize the indie musicians in Chicago to demonstrate against this ordinance and to let their representatives know what a bad idea it is. But over the longer run, this should be a wake-up call for people in the grassroots and the indie music community to recognize that the major responsibility to let the rest of Chicago and the rest of the world know about what they're doing lies in their hands and through their mouths to do a much more active job of letting people know what they're doing and where they're doing. My final thought and the last thing that I want you guys to hear that you're seeing this right now is power by numbers. Spread this around the internet. Make it viral. And uh, that's the only way to let the word out, to let it be known. And I know that you can help us by doing this. So send the link around, send out some emails, post a video on your MySpace page, put a link on your Facebook, whatever you want to do, put it on your blog. Send it to your mom and dad, your best buddy, your college friend, whoever. Just please help us spread the word. It's only going to help culture. Right, the mother. <laughs> and the last thing I want to say is that, you know, so goes one group of artists, so goes all of us. I mean, eventually they're going to come knocking on your door too for uh, a piece of the cash. So I, I think that you need to. Stand up, strengthen numbers. People need to get together and stop being so complacent or apathetic or whatever it is. I know it's difficult holding down a full-time job and doing your trade and being an artist and trying to indulge in that passion that, that makes life worth living. But you also need to be political about it, especially when the city is trying to come in here and doing these ill-fated uh, short-sighted ordinances that uh, and, and laws that are going to affect us in such an adverse way. Uh, I teach interactive advertising which deals with DIY, just do it yourself, guerrilla advertising, viral, social networking, search engine optimization, tactics you can take to the streets, what you're looking at right now. It's all about empowering you with tools that you can use now. One of the things that we're afraid of about this ordinance is that it can take those tools away. I think they're coming to get you, man. We gotta go. <laughs> Somebody say gorilla? Seriously. We gotta go. They're coming for us. I guess you've gotten more than you bargained for this evening, huh?
to the National Security Agency. Thank you, and have a great day. What are you gonna do? <laughs> do that again. That's like sideways. <laughs>